needed that coffee. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, anyways, if you're just tuning in from last week, well, uh, welcome back. And we are going to go ahead and hit up the second half of Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. So, <sighs> without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, long-awaited party started and finished. So we're going to load up from my previous sub, uh, where we left off earlier, which was get ex us exiting out the third mansion after possessing or processing Dracula's eyeball. Gotta love the typos in this sometimes, but anyways. Alright. So, here we go. Now, I'm not going to equip his heart, because... If I were to do that and I let the boat come back, it'll just take me back to the mansion, which is where I don't want to go. Alright, so I would do a quick little transfer. Stay on the raft, don't get off. But you do get off on the screen right here. All right. So first things first. You want to trade crystals. Get the red crystal. Exchange your blue one for a red one. Check. All right. Now you want to pick up some more laurels. Yes. So we got enough. And then there's a merchant who has garlic for sale. So we're going to go there. And it has to be at the top left corner of this town. here. Okay. Yes. That's all I need. So... up. Alrighty. Alrighty, now we head to that one graveyard. Ah! I hate blobs! There we go. Got past them perfectly. Ow! That one tiny hit, I don't care. That's fine. I'm totally fine with that. Now... Er... False. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Alright, get ready to use them. Just so I can get away. Uh, 
There we go. So... There we go. Alright. Alright. Alright, we're past the worst part. Thank God. to have. Well, let's go ahead and head back to town, if feasible. Ow. Ow. Oh. Screw you. Yeah. Okay, um... We'll just use it and get it over with. Well, the nice part is I'm not seeing any birds, so that helps. I got less than four days ago to get the perfect ending. That's okay. Can that bag make, let me carry? I got six right now. Hey, get back here. Eight. Okay. Um, eight should be plenty. Now let's go ahead and. Uh, let's go ahead and hit up the church and heal because I know I need it. I mean, I'm down to my last health bar here. It's because of those blobs. I mean, they're worse than the fucking Fleeman. All right. That's better. Much better. Now, let's get back out there and finish the job, now that I got all that I need. Ow. 
There. And stay dead. Alright. Is it me, or do those look like xenomorphs from Aliens? I mean, I'm not joking, they look like xenomorphs. <laughs> Anyways... Um, real quick, let me double check my map. Where do I go next, real quick? Uh, Alright, so... Ah. Uh, Ooh, I'm gonna need more hearts. Damn. Woo! Level up. Okay. I will take that. I am, however... Um... 70. Now, one of these... Places has a guy that's selling the chain, or not the chain whip, but the um, morning star. No. Here. No, thank you. I mean, I've already got plenty. Okay, okay. Threw me off a little bit, but okay. Alright. Ah, uh, not quite yet. I'm 130 short. Don't let there be any damn birds that fly here at night. Alright. Alright, alright. This will be a good area to stay around and fight. Halfway at the amount of hearts. Alright, I need 17 heart drops, guys. Come on, give me 
16 more. 15. Fourteen. Fifteen. I need eleven more. Eleven more, it's all I'm asking. Come here. Yeah. Nine more. Eight. Come on. Seven. Six, five, four, three, yes. two, come on, I need two more, just two more, it's all masking. Alright, got that ain't got all I need. Let's get going. Huh. Perfect timing. Hurry. the shop owner. Here we are. And, uh, by the way, if you've watched the, um, Castlevania Netflix show, the Morningstar is the exact same weapon that Trevor Belmont used in the, uh, second season. So. Yes. A longer chain whip, but with a steel ball, spike steel ball at the end. And it's more powerful. So, without further ado, let's get going. Alright. Yep, got what I need to quit for now. Let's get going. Yeah, it's that powerful. All right, so. So, here's what happens. Looks like a dead end, right? Well, this is where you need the red crystal for. So you equip it, hold, crouch down for a few seconds. And a whirlwind will come and take you immediately to your next destination, which is... The Fourth Mansion! Here we go! Alright. So we'll still need to get some hearts because we have to purchase an oak steak no matter what. Alright. And we need 18 more before I go ahead and find that fellow. Uh, oh, whoa! Uh-uh. Oh, 
Don't tell me. There's a false floor somewhere. There we go. Uh, I hate that shit. I really do. Don't tell me. Oh, damn! Okay, okay. Good thing I didn't jump. I totally forgot all about that. Alright. Um... Okay. Ah, that's right. There's invisible walls. Alright. Whew. Alright. Alright. There we go. Um... Where... So, where's our merchant? Up here? Back? Back? Stay back, motherfucker. Curses kill the laurel tree. Yeah, that's pretty cryptic. Alright. So, we got... I got all the hearts I need, so where is that said merchant? Uh-huh. Nope. No, stay down. There we go. That's better. Ugh. These assholes. Aha! Yes! That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, here we go. There we go. And here we are, for the next part. I have Dracula's Snail, but the nail does, it lets me, um, destroy blocks when equipped just by using my normal whip. Kind of like what the holy water does. Actually, what I need should be... There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Lead the way, Bonehead. And we are out of here. So that's mansion number four. Less than five game days away. Finish. Um, double check the map. Okay, so we're gonna head west.
So real quick, let me take a quick sip of my coffee. Um, mm. ah, that's good. Okay. And let's go ahead and just for the sake of the argument, let's just go ahead and do a quick little save state just to get none over with. All right. So here we go. Let me unpause. We'll need this. Hold down. There we go. Alrighty. And looks like we're going to be in some town ruins. I forget the name of the place, but. It's in these town ruins. I need to try and figure out where exactly at, but um haha. Oh, come on. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Over here. Now, my morning star has been upgraded to a flame whip, and it is powerful, with a capital P. Case in point, boom! One hit. That's all it takes. And now we're gonna head east. Okay. Yep. Now we're gonna head eastward. So to make sure you do safely jump across when there's blocks of the lake, as the blocks are going up, that'll boost your jump, and vice versa when they go down. It's a weird glitch, I don't know why, but whatever. Yep. Ah, good old invincibility in a can. And here we are at mansion number five. There's actually, I think, two people in here I need to find. Not the, not only the uh, uh, Oak Steak Merchant, but there's also a fellow who will give you um, their surplus of laurels. And it's actually a large amount, and believe me, you're going to need them. Um, I just need to try and remember exactly where there he's at in this mansion. So this one might actually take me a little bit, and also it's the only... Kind of missing the throwing axe here, guys. All right, you know what? Screw him. I'll, I'll screen him. Or not. Uh, 
Okay, look at this. My head is up, and he's going... And I'm not taking any damage. That is grade A bullshit in my favor. Making sure I'm not going through any fake floors. Because I hate that. Up. No. Well, another level up. That's cool. Actually, have you lead on? Make sure I don't fall on any fake floors. Nope. Okay. Ew. I don't do uh, Sorry. Yeah. That's better. I really need to do a better job of that jump. There we go. And oak's sake, yes. Um, so I got five. Hang on. Well, let me see if I can find one person that says they could... Yeah. There we go. Ow. Ow. That's better. A little bit of a risky move, but it worked. Alright. <sighs> okay, that takes care of them. Ooh! Whoa! Hold on. Oh, that was a good job! Uh uh, no, we're not dealing with bugs here. Ah, the second boss in the entire game. Yeah, the biggest disappointment in Castlevania 2, in my opinion, is... There's no challenge to be had from these bosses. I mean, there's a huge castration and difficulty. I mean, look. And just like that, it's over. Alright. The final piece. Here we go. So the ring and the cross are both needed to enter the very final area in this game. And actually I got 
fairly good amount of time to get the best ending. Alright. Hang on. Damn bugs. Oh. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Close. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> All right, I got a full thing of laurels, but god damn it, those bugs, they hurt. Now, granted, I still got a fairly good amount of health, and I think I have. if I have just one life left or not, it doesn't tell me, so... Uh, uh, damn it. I'm just gonna have to wing it like a champ. There we go. Also... Pitfalls, because that would suck. Whew. That was super close. And I think we're through with it. All right, let's get the hell out of here. There's nothing to be had, so we're moving on. All right, real quick. All right. So doing a final save state, let's get going to the final area in this game. Get off me! Ugh. There we go. Uh, 
pass that hidden lake. So, quick little note is, um, yeah, this is where the whirlwind takes you, but going left or right does not take it take you back to where that clip was. And then, time to go straight forward until we go to the first set of stairs that's come across, just where we'll need to be. Alright, so I'm not going to get any more experience points, that's okay. Oh, shh. Sphinx? Or whatever. Alright, that should make traveling just a little easier. I'm out of here. And down, there's a church here where I can heal, and... Oh, pfft. What am I saying? Yes, there is. Alright. Yes, I'm gonna need that. Thank you. So, we don't need anything from here. However... Boom. Alright. I should have plenty of laurels for the job. Alright, that should be it. Alright, I'm on track to exactly to where I need to go. Perfect. Perfect. And I have four laurels left, so that's gonna help. The one town where there's nobody in. I'm pretty positive about that. Yep. Gee, I wonder why this town's abandoned. Because guess what's located next to it? Which is where we're going. Alright, so... Some tombstones will climb over. Ugh. Nope. Stay down, damn birds. And we are finally here. Oh, and plenty of time to get the best ending, too. Ah, the ruins of Dracula's castle. Thanks a lot, Simon. <laughs> nah. Make 
make your way down to the very bottom area. Actually, we're not wait. So we're at the basement area, equipped laurels. Ah, yes, that one room. And he's disgustingly easy. Oh. Boom! That's it! Hunter with Dracula is terminated. Simon Belmont. Has put an end to the eternal darkness in Transylvania. Yeah, I'm not going to bother trying to read the rest out loud. I'm just being a goofball at this point. <laughs> and for the record, this is considered the best ending in the game. And you'll see why. The reason why I consider it the best ending is because, to me, right here, this would later, yeah, hand pops out, so, to me, this would later be used in the uh, opening for another entry in the franchise, which we will get to later. So, with that said... The next time we meet, we will be going at Haunted Castle from the arcade. And in this case, it will be on the PS4 via its arcade archive version. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic night, and I will see you next time.